what's going on YouTube? It's Melo DFS coming to you live and direct here to give you my fave five tight ends for today's uh, week eight. All right, hope everybody's having a good one. Hope everybody's getting their lineup straightened out, but let's get into it. Before I start, please smash the like button. Please subscribe for daily content. And if you don't mind, press that bell icon for daily videos. All right, let's get into it. Going from five to one on my tight ends. Number five, we'll be looking at CJ Uzuma in a great position. Just the fact that uh, reason why he's number five, just the fact he's not getting the he's not getting the targets. He's only averaging uh, 2.7 targets with 2.4 receptions a game, but he has two touchdowns. But he's going against one. He's going against the worst defense in the league. Tampa's last against tight ends, allowing 87. Uh, 89.7 yards to tight ends a game. They allow 16.5 fantasy points when they are away. It could be a sneak into the red zone plays, worth a shot versus a horrible defense. So definitely it's a good spot with a minimum 3,500, but a crazy 5,400 on FanDuel. But nonetheless, it's a great sneak pick if you want to, if you need, uh, if you want to help with your lineups with someone cheap. This guy could definitely be one of those guys to plug in. Now going to number four spot. I'm looking at David Njoku in a great spot against Pittsburgh. All right, now he has 29 targets in the past three weeks. Like I said, he's been one of my favorite tight ends. This is honestly one of my favorite plays uh, so far in fantasy with Mayfield as quarterback. But Pittsburgh's 30th against tight ends, allowing an average 23.8 fantasy points at home. All right, uh, he's averaging 12.48 fantasy points in the past five games. Pittsburgh allows 42% more fantasy points to tight ends when home. So just the fact that that's that, he can still go off away is a definitely great spot. Only 46 in DraftKings and 5,700 on FanDuel. So he give you less, you know, less on salary than Ozuma, but he's in a great position to ball out. Now going to number three position. I will be looking at O.J. Howard versus Cincinnati. Bengals is, is missing the two top linebackers, all right? All right, for today. So he's in a good spot. Only 39 on fan, on DraftKings, 58 on FanDuel. He's averaging 51 fantasy points more outdoors, which is a great stat. That um, Let's see what else. Uh, going against... Keep forgetting who they're going against. Cincinnati, I'm sorry. They're 29th against tight ends, allowing an average 18.2 fantasy points at home. Now, he's already had 30 targets this year with 20 receptions with two touchdowns in a great spot. Honestly, tight ends has a great ceiling this week. So definitely want to target the tight ends, especially on their flex picks. If you're on DraftKings, tight ends might be the way to go on this week. On number two. I'm going down. Let's go down to Jared Cook going against in, uh, uh, the Colts. Now, he's already averaged five red zone targets in the past three games. There's no Cooper. Uh, there's no Cooper. Better numbers in target into week eight. He's averaging 14.82 fantasy points in five home games. He's averaging 7.2 targets with 5.3 receptions. 66.7 receiving yards. Already have two touchdowns. He's averaging 22.3 fantasy points at home in a great position. So definitely want to plug him in with this matchup. So definitely want to check out Jack Cook. Know you don't get the looks. All right, if you haven't, as already, this is what my platform, my number one platform, Draft Dashboard Tools. As you can see, it gives you great stats and helps with your plays. You see, you have the uh, the opponent defense rank, the the position rank, the last three games in fantasy, the last three targets, and for, more so for running backs, you got the last three carries a game. All right, you have access to your sleepers, your studs, the watch players. Click on the watch players. You have access to my player my player pool. You also make your own custom player pool. Once you click on this bell icon, it will give you. It'll, customize your own lineup all you have to do is go to lineup optimizer it generates a lineup and you're liking it also utilizes my plays as well so definitely want to check out click the link in my description limited time right now 30 days for a dollar can't beat it so join it definitely take a look 
All right. It's actually not a bad lineup. I might actually say this lineup. You got Winston, Barber, Lindsey, Drew, Landry, Hilton, Zuma, David Johnson, Bears. Not a, that's actually a pretty damn good lineup. But definitely want to take a look, y'all. Now going to my number one spot at tight end. I'm looking at Travis Kelsey in a great position going against Denver. He's averaging 26.8 fantasy points in the past four games versus Denver in two years, y'all. He has an amazing history against Denver. He's averaging thir he had 36 fantasy point game, a 29 fantasy point game versus Denver at home. He had a touchdown in each of those games. He averaged uh, 11 targets. For nine receptions, one game he had 160 yards, and he had a 133-yard game at home versus Denver in that history, y'all. So definitely want to take a look at him. Only 6,800 in DraftKings, 73 on FanDuel. Definitely worth the shot if you could plug him in. And that's my fave five, y'all. Number one, Travis Kelsey. Number two, Jared Cook. Number three, O.J. Howard. Number four, David Njoku. And number five, C.J. Ozuma. If you like my plays, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lineup, feel free to comment below. Love y'all. Y'all collect that bag for NFL Week 8.